1961 sports year got off to a flying start at Oberstorf in the Bavarian Mountains as the world's greatest skiers competed for the international crown. The year was one of the golden ones in the past decade of sports history. The most exciting track and field event was the high jump duel between John Thomas of the U.S. and Valery Brumel of Russia. Brumel, who beat Thomas in the Olympics, tied his own best mark in this indoor meet and then went on to a jump of more than seven feet, four inches. The Russian defeated Thomas in every one of three meets with form like this. Uncle Sam had his moments, though, from the Olympic Games to Moscow meets. Wilma Rudolph shattered women's records whenever she performed. Ralph Boston, the Olympic champ, shattered both the indoor and outdoor records with jumps of better than 26 and 27 feet. At the National AAU Championships, Frank Budd of Villanova cut the 100-yard record to the astounding figure of 9 and 2 tenths. And that's flying. The fleet four-leggers had a brilliant year also. 75,000 packed Churchill Downs for the 87th running of the Kentucky Derby to see Carryback come from 11th position to put on a rush that wins the run for the Roses. And he won with only a few yards to go. Horse of the year, however, for the second straight year was Kelso. Here he shows his form in the Jockey Gold Cup at New York. He was in a class by himself, and he wins easily over the three horses that dared to challenge him. Most dramatic of the golf championships was the PGA at Chicago. Little Jerry Barber commands the greens, shaving stroke after stroke when it appears he is hopelessly beaten. Still behind on the 18th, he goes on to sink a 55-footer for a tie. In the playoff, he becomes the new PGA champion. This is the stuff of which champions are made. The U.S. men's tennis finals was an all-Australian affair with Roy Emerson in the near court and Rod Lever displaying a bang-up brand of tennis that has the crowd at Forest Hills on their feet. Emerson, the underdog, crushes his countrymen in straight sets, and once again, the men's crown goes down under. The United States held its own in diving competition, and the form our stars displayed speaks for itself. Roger Maris left and Mickey Mantle were murder and mayhem for the Yankees. Maris bloomed with his long ball in 1961 and scattered home runs into the stands like hailstones. He led an assault along with Mantle on Babe Ruth's home run record of 60. And for a while it was nip and tuck as to which of the two would be the one to break the record set by the Babe in 1927. Since Ruth's day, the season has been expanded and Maris did not hit his 61st until the Yankees' final game. He didn't break the old mark within 154 games, but a new record he did chalk up. The Yankees were in the World Series again in 1961 against the Cincinnati Reds. Whitey Ford led the assault and pitched brilliant ball. His pitching, along with Yankee power, gave them the World Championship four games to one.
Pro provided some spine-chilling thrills. In the season's pro opener, Tim Brown of the Philadelphia Eagles took the opening kickoff from five yards behind his goal line and romped 105 yards for a touchdown. Ohio State had a brilliant season, and one of the reasons was Chuck Bryant, who took a pass from Joe Spama and snaked his way for a 62-yard tally. Ernie Davis, Heisman Trophy winner as the outstanding college football player of the year, sparked the Syracuse team with runs such as this one. That number 44 was murdered to the opposition. And as a grand finale, here's Dave Ramey of Michigan taking an Ohio State kickoff all the way home. 1961, a year of thrills and sports. For everybody from racing fans to football enthusiasts, 1961 was a year to remember.